Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO at DVS. Bam! And today we're going to take a look at a brand new product from Hypervision. Something a little bit different to the norm. Um, and I'm really super excited about showing you this, so stay tuned and we'll get to that in a minute. But before you head anywhere, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Callum, do your thing. Ding! Hit the subscribe button, you will be notified of our weekly content, uh, and it is good content. Hopefully you will learn something. We try to always bring the latest technology to you guys so you can understand it and see what's available. So, moving on, what are we going to take out a look at? What are we going to look at today, should I say? It is Easter coming up and I'm super excited. So, brand new Hike Vision dash cam. So a lot of you follow the channel, a lot of you have bought the previous product. We have, uh, we still have it in stock, but we're just running that down now. We have the predecessor, we've already done a video on this, coming up to three years ago on the channel. So about three years ago we did a channel on the, um, now, uh, sort of coming to the end of its life dash cam model. Nothing wrong with it, it was super, super good. Uh, this one is a massive improvement on that. It does cost a little bit more, but if you can see on the picture there, what you do get with this model is an integrated LCD screen. Didn't get that one, still has a app on there, but you didn't get the integrated LCD screen before. This one, you do. So here is the part number, for all of you who want to see the part number. But, super excited to bring this to you. We're gonna do a little bit of a, an opening on here. Uh, there we go. Just cut the little tab, there's two security tabs on there. We're also gonna fit the Hikevision 64 gigabyte SD card. So you do need to put an SD card in this unit for it to function correctly. Uh, without the SD card, you won't be able to do any recording. Super simple to do. So 64 gigabyte SD card plus dash cam. So what do you get in the actual box? So. Da -da. You get the little dash cam user manual. Keep that. I know I normally do a little joke and throw it away. Keep that. There's also the QR code on the back where you can download the app. But I'll show you how cool this is very shortly. In the box, you get the cigarette. So if you've got a car that's got a 12 volt cigarette port, it's got two USB ports on there, a one amp and a two amp, if you can see that. So two USB slots on there, a cigarette, traditional. Now, if you're like me and you have a modern car, underneath the plastic, so remove the plastic tray, underneath it, you get this super long, and it is long, God, this must be, probably five, six meters long. Probably five meters. Standard USB, which will go into here. So that plugs into your cigarette port here, your converter, and then you get this massive long cable. Now you can, you could install this around the trim of the vehicle, so it's permanently installed, or you could just do it temporarily, entirely up to you. And you get that standard little mini connector on around like an Android connector effectively. Other brands are available. Dash cam, so you've got the little, it's like a four megapixel dash cam, or equivalent of. Oh, I can't even get that little thing off, look. That's because I have no nails. There we go, so peel the little protective cover off. So you have the fixed lens on the front there, so fixed lens, you have the suction cup on here, so that will attach to the windscreen. So that attaches to your windscreen or maybe the top plate. It comes with a sticky pad, peel that off and just stick it on. Now you'll see on the back, it's got the connector for the cable. So this connector plugs into here. When it's the right way up. So that connects into there like that. That sticks to your windscreen or the surface you want it to adhere it to. There's a touch screen on the so remove that cover because that is touch screen and this 
can tilt and turn. So you have some movement in that. So it's like a, a three axis bracket. So you can set that up for the desired view. Now this is a front facing camera. So you install that on the windscreen, looking out the front. It does have a, the embedded GPS, which we'll show you on the app and a G sensor in there and also voice control. And I think it is around four megapixel, like I said, and you'll see here, if I, if I show you, it's hard to see on the camera probably. There's a little SD card slot there. See it? If I tilted it, there's the SD card slot. So we're going to remove the SD card from the packet. I know you're not interested in uh, watching me install this, but you're going to see me do it. I'll pick the rubbish up after. So micro SD card, so you've got the micro SD card from Hike Vision. There you go. And we're just going to put that into this slot here. Make sure the orientation is correct. And there we go, it's in. If I turn the light on there, you can see. There you go. There you go, it's in, ready to go. First thing we need to do is plug this into a USB source. So for testing purposes to show you, I'm gonna power it from my NVR. So I'm gonna plug it into my NVR here. And you can see here, it's now powered up. So we're just powering it off an NVR, just to show you how this works. And now I'm gonna get the app and add this device to the app. So what I will do is transfer you over to the desk and run you through the app add-in process. It's gonna be much easier if I do that. So stay tuned and I'll transfer you over. Okay, so we've got the dash cam powered up. Open up your camera app. You can see in front of you the dash cam here. Press the screen and you'll see you can scan the QR code with your native camera app. But look at the Wi-Fi Hike Vision. If you look at it, it says Wi-Fi Hike Vision F601. So just remember the Wi-Fi um, part codes that it's asking you to connect to. Scan the QR code, hit open. It will ask you to open the app or install it, depending if you've already got it from a previous installation or not. On this, in, on this instance, we have. So I'm going to click open. Now we need to go to our Wi-Fi settings and connect to this specific device. Now, note, above the blue connect, it says the default dash cam Wi-Fi password is 12345678900. Now, remember that. So we go to our settings. On our Wi-Fi, we find the device, which is the Hikevision dash F6S version. Type the password in, 12345678900. Join. So that's going to join that... Um, basically phone to dash cam. Go back to the dash cam app. Wi-Fi connected, enter. Activate now. So new password, we need to type a new password in. So, okay. Now the unit will reboot shortly. Well, it's just done it now. Okay, connect to the Wi-Fi. Need to change the password because we just did it, so. Now we're connected. Go back to there. And now we have the dash cam with the horizon, all sorts of information on here. So you can see now my app is connected to the, we're in my demo room. I'm going to take this for a little spin on the road in a minute. So you get the idea of how good the quality is, but I can actually, um, I need to allow permissions. Sorry. Uh, photos, all photos done, mobile data done. Go back to it, so I can capture pictures now. Go to photos, and you can see there, and you can export and share them. So, yep, the demo room is a mess, completely accept that. Go back 
go back to play. There you go. And you've got playback, etc. So I've got to play back. That'll be from today. Where we've been messing around with it. Yeah. So and you that's can the playback see with now, audio. My app is connected to the we're in our demo room. I'm going to take this. And you can screenshot, it, scale it, idea all sorts of, of information on there. Is. So it's really, really but cool. And download um, it, etc. I'm going to take it out on the road and we'll show you a little bit better how that works. And the settings, you've got resolution. And put that down in a second. Resolution and frame rate. So I'm going to make it the... You can make it as high or as low as you want. Make it the highest frame rate and settings. So generate a link video automatically that you're in capturing. So... Yes, you can. So if you do a manual capture off the app, you can actually generate a video to go with it. So yeah, we'll do that. That's interesting because if you've got an issue, you can press that. Audio on when recording, yes. And you can turn the audio on or off, it's up to you. Emergency recording. So an emergency video will be recorded automatically when sharp break, sharp turn or collision occurs. Yes, leave that on. That's a very, very good idea. WDR. Now WDR affects the image so if you've got strong sunlight, WDR can really help give a much cleaner, cleaner image. I'm going to leave it off for the purposes um, of the demonstration. Audio on and up. Boot music, standby screen. You can have it as clock, custom, off. So if I put it as custom, um, or I can put it as live preview. Um, so I can put it as the clock, custom, uh, and then put a picture. So I could take a picture from my album and put like that. Choose. Done. That could be my picture on the on the thing now. Or I could just have it a live preview. Uh, let's put it as live preview. Display speed, yes. And then intelligent control, parking, monitoring. So remote collision alarm, yeah. And the sensitivity, electronic fence. Using an electronic fence requires your device to support both GPS and 4G. And you can add a fence and you can put a geo, um, like a radius in there. So basically, uh, like a geofence, geofencing. Intelligent broadcast, front vehicle startup, red light change pump, speed limit, turn them all on. Intelligent audio control, yes, leave them on. And then horizon, you can adjust that horizon if you want to or need to. And that's it, really. Um, and then dash cam information, storage card. The format it, network parameters, so cellular data, APN, GPS, Wi-Fi settings. That's what we changed earlier on startup. GPS we're going to leave on. And then the cellular data plus the APN. So there is an ability to fit a, from what it looks like, you can fit a small SIM card in there. I'll check that out now. Uh, and then unit, metric, imperial, language, English, DST, restore settings and reboot. And that's effectively it. Go back to live view. So we're going to take this little puppy out in my car now so it, sh sh so it shows you in a real working environment. See the 30 frames there? You get that flicker effect now. Now I made it 30 frames a second. Really doesn't like that. So if I go back, make it 25, done. There you go. No flicker effect. So I'll leave it at 25. Um, and again, if you put the app that way. Right. I'll go and uh, put this in my vehicle, run it around the road and come back to you and show you and download some of this footage. Super excited about this one. Okay, so we've installed it now. It's stuck to the windscreen very, very securely. Cable comes down and I've just put it into the USB slot for now. Um, screen is live. You can see the... Uh, my hand is in front of it. You can really adjust that to get the best view that you want. And I guess that's about right there. Um, it's recording now. Audio's on. The Wi-Fi's connected. Uh, and then I can scree scroll across there. And the horizon is about right, look. So don't need to adjust that. So really, really simple. Remember, like I said, the live view I set as live view. So the home screen I set as live view. But you could have the clock, you could have a, an image in there or a custom thing, whatever that may look like. But this is now ready to go. So I'm going to go out and record uh, some footage and then download it and show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're back in the office now. I've connected again using the app. Um, just to prove I'm in the office. 
and you go back in the office. Now we're going to download that footage um, that we went out on the road for, effectively. Go to playback, and you can see I can zoom in using pinch control. Um, if I press play on that, it will start to play that video um, shortly of the... What's up here? There we go. There's the footage there. You can see if I turn it up. It's got audio in it as well. Across there, and the horizon is about right. Look. So I can take screen. So shots. don't need to adjust that. So really, really simple. Remember, like I said, the live view I set as live view. So the home screen I set as live view. But you could have the clock. You could have a, so an I, image in there or a custom thing, whatever that may. Go to where I was actually driving. <laughs> The audio should be recording, uh, kind of the industrial area of Cardiff, really. But we're going, I'll give you some narrative as we go past. Um, great, absolutely great subway down yeah. that way, if anyone's interested. But you can see we're coming to a really interesting feature. Um, this is the magic roundabout. So uh, they built a, a roundabout in Cardiff and filled it with road signs. You'll see. So now, if I go to playback and download. So if we go to where that footage was, so 9.25, download, and we can do a segment here. So we'll do one minute of footage. Uh, one minute of footage from here. On. Download that. So you can choose the length of the duration. Don't forget, because with a dash cam, you're only going to be downloading the incident. So you're going to be downloading short segments of footage rather than hours and hours of footage. Apologies if this is taking a bit long, but you can see there it does say if you turn off Bluetooth, it does speed it up for some reason. I don't know how that's relevant when you're connecting via Wi-Fi, but there must be some technical reason. So downloaded view now, so I can go into my uh, downloaded video. Sound recording started. So using the speech recognition with the sound, you can turn it on and off, so you're not constantly recording audio in the vehicle. At all times, you can use the speech control. So you can see there. And Good quality. And we're just on the main run back to our office. Uh, that oh, magic roundabout that I just took. And again, if I go to another one where we're by here. Let's go to this one's much better. Yeah. Play that one. On. Sound recording started. And then, uh, now this is recording the speech. Now, using the speech recognition with the audio, so it's actually starting to record the audio. The audio. audio. We're just on our way back to the office here. Um, and then if I say sound off, sound recording off. Then on. Sound recording started. And then this is where... So there you go. There's the video segment that we downloaded. Sound recording started. So using the speech recognition with the sound, you can turn it on and off. So you're not constantly recording audio in the vehicle there you go. at all times. So that is the... Go back to that. And that effectively is the app. Really good quality camera. Really good load of quality functions in there, to be honest. Um, nice, easy to use app. You can download it straight to the app and then share it to, you know, to wherever you need to share it to directly from that app. So if I go to photos there, I look at, um, so there's some of the emergency ones because we enabled it. It's what uses the G sensor in there. But again, if I needed to um, send anything, I could click on that and then share it, download it directly from there. It's really simple to do. Or under playback. Uh, where I've downloaded it. No video downloaded currently. Um, but yeah.
really straightforward to do hope you enjoyed the video uh let us know if you need anything there we go so that's why if you turn audio on when recording off it'll use the speech recognition to do that there we go <laughs> If you do want to uh, download the video and uh, videos or photos, just a quick pointer. Just go back to the main menu. See top left-hand corner. Go to My Photos. And then you've got photos and videos there. And you can share them and download them straight from there. So if I go share, I can share it directly to there. Nice and straightforward. And you've got My Dash Cam. So you've got, I've got three Dash Cams added effectively. Uh, maintenance, feedback and settings. There you go. Cheers on sound recording started and then uh, now this is recording the speech now using the speech recognition with the audio it's actually starting to record the audio we're just on our way back to the office here um but then if i say sound off sound recording off